to the Naba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister by the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023, time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogotanga. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed to make an impact on the world and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit. Follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister by the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed, to make an impact on the world, and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye -bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister. By the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed, to make an impact on the world, and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye-bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister by the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed, to make an impact on the world, and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit. Follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister by the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed, to make an impact on the world, and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye -bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister. By the Spirit. Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Time, morning sessions, 9 a.m., evening sessions, 6 p.m., venue, Desert Pastures, Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event. For every gift of God in you to be unleashed, to make an impact on the world, and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye-bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, 
follow the spirit live by the spirit and minister by the spirit starting from monday the 30th of october to friday the 3rd of november 2023 time morning sessions 9 a.m evening sessions 6 p.m venue desert pastures bogota it is time for you to come to this great event for every gift of god in you to be unleashed to make an impact on the world and to bless yourself i will see you there god bless you Bye-bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. East Udanaba Ministries presents Charisma with Pastor East Udanaba. At Charisma, we are empowered and inspired to know the Spirit, follow the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and minister. By this Starting from Monday the 30th of October to Friday the 3rd of November 2023 Time Morning Sessions 9 a.m. Evening Sessions 6 p.m. Venue Desert Pastures Bogota. It is time for you to come to this great event for every gift of God in you to be unleashed to make an impact on the world and to bless yourself. I will see you there. God bless you. Bye-bye. Get ready to walk in favor and receive gifts from the Holy Spirit. joining this assembly and joining our father on this platform uh, for the charisma the lord bless you and increase you mightily in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah and so this morning charisma 2023 continue and uh, we just want to be grateful to god for the insight and the revelation that God is using our Father to share with us and to prepare us in terms of warfare. In terms of warfare. The scripture says, No one goes to war at his own charge. But if you would be a soldier, then it means that you will have to arm yourself with the necessary knowledge and the necessary information that can help you to be able to war appropriately to the glory of God. Can I hear somebody shout an amen? And so this morning, we want to begin by looking at this scripture. Now, this scripture is a foundation scripture or one of the foundation scriptures that we are using for, for, for the charisma. Ephesians chapter 6, the verse... 12. I'm using it as a preamble to the prayer that we are going to be praying this morning. It said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And our Father took us through the aspect of principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this age of this world against spiritual wickedness so from this scripture point of view we are seeing the number of entities principalities and powers the forces that are contending with us or that we are contending with and uh, you don't want to take it for granted at all amen don't take it for granted arm yourself pray alongside believe God and trust him and I trust that at the end of the day something super something tremendous something powerful will be the result of your prayer somebody shout an amen and so number one prayer we want to pray this morning is to thank God for the abundance revelation of our father you know from our father pastor Israel and mama Rushmore sharing with us from the book that is called the four kind all this revelation is being shared from the uh, from the book of our father and uh, we want to look at this scripture for the, the prayer this morning Ephesians chapter 1 the verse 16 they said cease not to give thanks for you I cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers so paul is saying i cease not i am not relent from making mention of you 
in my prayers look at another scripture romans chapter 1 the verse 9 for god is my witness god is my witness whom i serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son that will see without ceasing i make mention of you always in my prayers making mention of you always in my prayer so mentioning names in prayer is very paramount it's very important and this morning we want to lift up our voice and thank god for the life of our father pastor isud and mama rosemo you want to thank god for their life you want to thank god for what the lord is using them to do and to affect the entire body of christ in the name of the lord jesus how many of you know that is a good prayer to pray this morning lift up your voice and begin to thank god for the life of the said man of god our father and our mother in the name of the lord jesus thank god for the ally bless god for his faithfulness towards them in the name of the lord jesus somebody lift up your voice and appreciate the lord thank you and bless him give him praise and glory in the mighty name of the lord jesus our father lord we thank you this morning we thank you for the life of your servant we thank you for the life of your handmaiden we thank you oh god in the name of the lord jesus christ we thank you for your faithfulness towards their life we thank you for quickening their body we thank you for revitalize them every now and again we thank you oh lord for your faithfulness your mercy your goodness in the name of the lord jesus over their lives we thank you our god we declare the lord in the name of the lord jesus we thank you for your hand over there we thank you for your countenance turn towards them we thank you oh lord for the abundance of revelation and grace oh lord god which you have given to them to share with the body of christ to share with the christian God, to share with your church and to share with your people then by preparing the saint for the coming of the lord lord jesus christ father we thank you oh lord we thank you for the alive god da balu andale mataya makatosia da balu andale mataya kantele mo santa aterian da balu andale mataya kantele mo santa branda taya he said i cease not to give thanks for you and making mention of you always in my prayer father we thank you for the alarm we thank you for your hand over there we thank you for your protection we thank you for your preservation we thank you oh god for the revelation that you have given to your servant in the name of the lord jesus we thank you oh god for the abundance of your grace and your mercy towards them we thank you oh lord for you have chosen for this assembly we thank you oh lord Oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for his love. We pray, oh Lord God, Ayada Bato Santaya, Magatosia da Branda le Mataya, Catelemo Santa Luande, Ayada Bata Balabataya, Magatosia da Branda, Ayada Bada Balapaya, Yanta Balapaya, Catolomo Santaya, oh Lord, thank you for his love. Thank you for your hand over here. Thank you for divine protection. Thank you for divine preservation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I do Shantaya. That oh God, let your hand continue to be upon him, to refresh and to strengthen him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray, oh Lord God, that you will favor his call. We pray for your hand over here. We pray for your countenance to. 
bind towards him. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let your hand be upon him. Strengthen him, O Lord God. We plead the blood for his protection and preservation. We ask, O God, that you will strengthen him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, quicken his body, revitalize him. Quicken his body, energize him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your hand, O Lord God, be strong upon him like never before. In the name of Jesus, for this assignment and this commission to be fulfilled. Oh God, it seems good in your sight to choose a man such a time, oh Lord, to lead in this assignment, to lead in this commission. Therefore, we thank you for his life and we pray, oh Lord, that continuously let your hand be upon him, that the word of the Lord in his mouth will have a free course in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And so we pray that the hand of God will continue to rest upon the man of God, our father, Pastor Eastwood, and Mama Rusma. For this assignment to be fulfilled to the glory of God. Can I hear somebody shout a big amen? Back to our scripture. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, of the darkness of this age. The rulers of the darkness of this age and against spiritual wickedness in higher places. And this is what he taught us yesterday and made mention of a few things which uh, we, we, along the line we'll be mentioning them and then we'll pray alongside. In his submission yesterday and some of the things, he said many things, but some of the things that he mentioned and said is the fact that there is a God over the church. In other words, this church, the Christian dog, has a God. Are you following? The church of God has a God. And there is a God over the world. There is a God over the world. And he mentioned of that word, Aion or Aion, meaning an age, continued duration or space of time. In today's contemporary age, it can also be likened to technology. How technology is controlling the systems of the world. And how entertainment is also controlling the world, music and etc. Which control the system of the world. And almost bringing what, what, what is holy to nothing. People of God. It is a crucial moment and the time that we find ourselves that our commitment and dedication to the things of God should not be questionable. Are you hearing me? And that is why in charisma, our father, Pastor Isu, will take his time and prepare us, giving us this, this information, this revelation of the word of God that can help you and I to conquer the system of the world and stay for Christ. Are you hearing me? I pray that you and I will stay focused for Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus. And this is the prayer we are going to pray. You are going to pray that God will deliver you and I. He will deliver us from the wrong effect of this age. I'm talking about the system of the world which is so destructive in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 
the verse 3 it said but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost verse 4 in whom the God the God the God of this world has blinded their mind of the mind of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should the, the, the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine upon them I want to pray that God will deliver you and I from the effect of these spirits that seems to be controlling and manipulating the world lift up your hand Lift up your hand. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I can hear you shouting, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. This morning, this morning I, declare, I declare by the power, the power of the word of the Lord. The of oh, Lord, Lord, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me from the wrong effect the wrong of effect this age, of the, the system the of this world, of this which world. is so distracting. Say, so, oh, oh Lord, deliver me deliver from me the systems of, system of this world. Of this which world. is so distracting for so our Christianity in the name of the Lord Jesus lift up your voice pray for yourself pray for the church pray for the church of God and pray that the Lord will deliver you and I from the wrong effect of this world in the name of the Lord Jesus the effect that the system of the world had upon our life had upon our children had upon our 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 sister had upon the church and sometimes to manipulate we pray today in the name of the Lord Jesus somebody pray that the Lord will deliver you and I from the corrupt nature of the system of the world in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus, the old law will lift up our world unto you, O God. The Bible said that we are in the world, but we are not for the world. Therefore, we pray, deliver us, O Lord, from the wrong effect of the system of the world, which is so destructive to our Christianity, which is so destructive for our increase in the things of God. Kata bataya, katele mo sanga, ayata la ba ya, yata la ba ya, yate die, yata bata bala ba, magato si yata balwe, yate die yata bataya. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the O Lord, deliver the church. O Lord, deliver your people. O Lord, deliver us, O Lord, from the wrong effect of this age that he has had upon our lives in the name of Jesus this age of the technology look at what it has gotten to the life of the people in the name of the Lord Jesus Father from the wrong impression a wrong oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost deliver us oh Lord that the God of this world will not blindfold our mind and to deny us oh Lord 
the quality of life that we ought to live in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray now by the power of the Holy Ghost, the technology that is controlling the mind of the people and denying them of coming into depths of gold. Oh Lord and my Father, the entertainment that almost leave the people naked and deny them of holiness and deny them of righteousness that kind of music that draw people, draw their soul unto perdition. Father, as we pray today, let the God of this world not manipulate us. Let the God of this world not blind our eyes. Let the God of this world not blind our mind. Let the God of this world not blind Father, deliver us, O Lord, from the effect of these things that are going on in our world today. In the name of Jesus, that, O Lord, my Father, my Father, arise, O Lord, on the defense of the church, on the defense of your people. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Makato Santa Baluade, Ayata da 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 unbelievers and uh, upon the entire system of the world gradually is cropping into the church and denying the church the position which they are supposed to take in waiting for the returning of our Lord Jesus Christ in Ephesians chapter 5 the verse 7 the verse 27 it said that he might present it to himself present what the church and the believers to himself a glorious church not a church that is wrinkled not the church that is spotless that a, not the church that is in deformity but a church that is glorious and not having spot or wrinkle or any set things that that but that it should be holy and without blemish the church of god should be holy and without blemish and this is where we are where the entertainment has entered into the church and sweeping the people the kind of music that is entering into the church and taking the people sweeping their feet away may the lord deliver us from certain things i hear i didn't hear your amen may the lord deliver us from certain things. in the name of the lord jesus and so we want to pray that God will give us, if I say as I am talking about the church, God will give the church and the congregation a spotless, a pure, and a clean as we prepare ourselves, be ready for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, either you like it or not, the Bible says all oh, this world, the world will pass away. By his word will not pass away. Jesus will return. And the question is, when he returns, how is he going to find you? How is he going to find you? And one will pray. One will pray this morning. That the Lord will give us a church and a congregation which is spotless. Are you following? A church and a congregation that is spotless. A church and a congregation that is clean. A church and a congregation that is pure and ever ready for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in, the in the name of Jesus, this morning, this morning I, declare I declare by the power, by the power of, the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, oh Lord, oh Lord give us a church, give us, give us a, a, congregation give us a congregation that is spotless, spotless. pure, clean and prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer.
Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that the Lord will give us a church. By these duties, He will give us a church, a church that is pure, a church that is holy, a church that is spotless, a church that is blemished. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a church that is not blemished by the power of the Holy Ghost, prepared and get Him ready for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray for the church, we pray for the body of Christ, we pray for Fountain Gate, we pray for all the churches, we pray for the body of Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray for the congregation that, oh Lord, give us a congregation that is spotless, give us a congregation that is pure, give us a congregation that is clean and prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, O Lord God, Ayada Bataya, Catelemo Santa Brande, Catolo Baba, Ayada Laba, Ayada Laba, Ayada Laba, Ayada Laba, Ayada Laba, Ayada Laba, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray now, give us a church, give us a congregation which is spotless, which is pure, which is clean and prepared and ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus. We pray now, deliver us, O Lord. Deliver the church from the last of the flesh. Deliver the church. Deliver the congregation from the last of the eye, from the pride of life, from the last of the flesh. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give us the church that is holy. Give us the church that is spotless. Give us the church that is pure. Give us the church, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that is clean by the power of the Holy Ghost. God deliver. Ariye <laughs> Irie, Irie, Kato Santaya, Makato Siata Paluande, Lepeliam Dana Mataya, Makato Santa Luande, Yatelebelebe, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus, pray somebody. Oh Lord, deliver us in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray, oh Lord. 
gave us the church, gave us a congregation that is spotless, a congregation that is pure, a congregation that is clean, and which is ever ready and prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, God deliver Santa, God deliver me, God deliver me, God deliver me, God deliver me, God deliver in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, the 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 man that walking not in the castle of ungodly, nor standing in the way of sin, nor sitting in the seat of comfort, but his desire is in the Lord of the Lord, and his law shall he meditate day and night, and it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that oh Lord gave us the church what would desire the pure word of God, gave us the congregation, what would desire the pure word of God and lead by the meditation of the word and prepared for the return of our Lord. Kato Shantaya Adiri Andale Mataya Kato Lobobobobobo Labranda Palu Andale Mataya Ayateli Andale Mataya Kato Shanta Brande In the name of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost the whole Give her the child that is holy. A child that desire on the word of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A church that is spotless. A church that is pure. And a church that is clean. That is the kind of a church that God is looking for and is preparing us through these messages that by the time that is coming, you and I will be pure and clean, ready for, for him. Somebody shout amen. Number three or number four, you want to pray that the God of this world, and he said the system of the world, of the ages will not blindfold your mind and deny you of entering into the heaven or the kingdom of heaven in that scripture second corinthians chapter 4 the verse 4 it said in whom the god of this world whom the god of this world has blinded their mind of the mind of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God shall shine unto them the God of this world I told you that he he, he, he mentioned this aeon in, in, in yesterday in his submission referring to the God of this world and the system that sometimes blindfold the mind of the people and deny them of coming into the contact of the word of God. And that by receiving a light that can save their soul and deliver them from damnation and destruction. Child of God, you want to pray right now that Father, deliver me and deliver us 
from this age from the from the from from, from this world that we will not be blinded or blindfold and deny of entering into the kingdom of God in the name of the Lord Jesus lift up your hand lift up your hand say heavenly father I can hear you shouting, Heavenly Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning I present myself before you. Oh Lord, I pray that God of this world will not blindfold my mind by anything and to deny me of entering into the kingdom of heaven. Say, oh Lord, I pray in this spirit that is making an attempt to blindfold me and to deny me of entering into the kingdom of God. I say, pray, let that spirit lose hold of my life. The spirit of lust lose hold of my life. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that the God of this world through the activities and the desire of achieving things and craving things and social things that you and I desire those things will not deny us, will not blindfold our mind those things will not blind our mind will not blind our eyes of not seeing the true gospel of the Lord Jesus lift up your voice pray that oh Lord deliver me from the God of this world in the name of Jesus deliver me from the God of this world which is entrenched in the aspect of lust which is entrenched in the aspect of wickedness which is entrenched in the aspect of flesh and the carnality I pray oh Lord Kadalaba Shadaba Labrandala Baya Ari Katele Mosaya Atiriandala Baya Katala Baya Yatapataya Kato Shamtaya Atiriandala Baha Oh Lord I pray that my mind will not be blindfolded deliver me O Lord from blindfolding in the name of Jesus God the name of Zion let the God of this world the God of mama the God of riches the God of laughter oh God so not blindfold my mind I pray today that let the hand of the Lord touch me O Lord let the power of God come upon my life in the name of Jesus. I receive light. Let any form of darkness, the God of this world, the God of the darkness, shall not prevail against my life. Shall not prevail in the name of Jesus. Arie, yatalabaya, yatalabaya, yatalabana ba, yatalabaya, la branda pataya. I pray, O Lord. I will not be blindfolded in the name of Jesus. Let me not be blindfolded and be denied of entering into the kingdom of heaven. I pray, let the hand of the Lord, I pray, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we pray that the God of this world will not blindfold our mind. The God of this world will not deny us of entering into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord touch our life. Let the light of the gospel shine upon us. Let our eye be open. In the name of the Lord Jesus. La branda paluanda le mataya In the name of the Lord Jesus Listen In Mark chapter 4 The verse 18 He said And these are they which Are 
are sown among toil. In other words, he's talking about the word of God. The Bible said the parable, they went and sowed seed. The parable of the sower. And some of the seed fell on the roadside. Others fell on thorns. Others fell also among the, the stony ground. And the verse 18 is saying that these are they which are sown among thorns. Which said as hear the word. It doesn't mean that they don't hear the word of God. They hear the word and the care of this world. The care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the last of other things entering in and choked the word and it became unfruitful. The word is to produce result and be fruitful in your life. But when you allow yourself and the care of this world and the riches of the world and the last thereof choke the word, it denied the fruitfulness of the word. And this is the prayer. We are going to pray that Father, the riches of this world and the last thereof will not deceive or choke my life into perdition in the name of the Lord Jesus. The last, the last of riches and the deceitfulness thereof will not deceive or choke you from listening and hearing the word of God. The word of God that is being preached to you and I is to save our soul and to deliver us from perdition. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I can hear you shouting, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning I declare by the power of the word of the Lord, oh Lord, the God of this world will not deceive or choke my life into perdition. I declare now the riches of this world and the last thereof shall not deceive or choke my life into perdition. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from the manipulation of the system of this world that I will not enter into perdition in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and fire the prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice. Kalababa shadabahai yantalabalabalabataya katelebo zandabataya ayatabato santaya makatosiate lapalabalabaha in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the riches of this world, the God of Mamona, I pray will not deceive me and the last terror will not deceive me and choke the word of God for my life and throw me into perdition. My father, my father, as I pray, deliver me, O Lord, from perdition in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, let the word which is being preached produce, resource, produce, and turn around in my life in the name of Jesus to help me win the war against the flesh. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Another thing that he said, you can also find it from the book, is the fact that the rulers of darkness of this world 
devise a scheme to get people trapped in the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That is the work of the rulers of darkness of this world. They trap people. They find themselves in the tight corner that there is nothing that you can do in order to help yourself. And all that you have to do is to fall into that trap. May the Lord deliver you from that trap in the name of the Lord Jesus. And he said, one who pray that God will deliver you from the trap of wildness. The trap of wildness. Sometimes you are doing your own thing. You know, and then all of a sudden, when you are in the world, when you are in the world, the music that you enjoy, <laughs> all of a sudden they are playing that music. By the time you realize you are tapping your feet or you are nodding your head. Some of you say reggae, reggae. Uh -huh. You see, we want to pray. It's a trap of the enemy. But you are praying this morning. Deliver us as a church and as a people from wilderness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Say Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I can hear you shout the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Name of as I pray today. Deliver me from the trap of the enemy which have been set against my life for wilderness. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from the trap of wilderness on the earth in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Eternal Father, we are grateful to you. And we ask that this morning is another time, it's another day, that the revelation of your blessing will come upon us. Prepare our heart for this word. Touch us and bless us in Jesus' precious name. Somebody give a big shout. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And one of the things that our Father always like us to do is to share the broadcast and invite others you know to join the, the the program and so grab your phone go ahead as we invite the the, the choir the agape to take over the praise and worship invite uh, your friends and let them join us on this program right now god bless you somebody give the lord a mighty praise here Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Would you lift up your voice and begin to give it a heart of glory? Lift up your voice and magnify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Holy One, the Righteous One. He is the one we have come before. Lift up your tongue and magnify Him. Lift up your tongue and glorify Him. For He alone deserves the glory this morning. He alone deserves the honor. This morning we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. King of kings, Lord of lords. Ah, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no other God like you. None compared to your mind. None compared to your majesty. For you are worthy. Holy are you, Lord, all creations, we call you God, worthy is your name. Yes, you are holy, say, holy are you, Lord, all creation, we call you God, you are worthy, worthy is your name. Oh! 
I'll take it again. What a mighty God. We serve. We serve a living God. What a mighty God. We serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God.
Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, me, Aaron, and you want to is right for a fearing was
I want us to make this confession. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. This is a confession. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Something want to shut you up, but you say, and I will not be.
bless your life. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I want everybody who is in this building, if you have a son, you have a daughter, you have a nephew, you have a niece, I want you to just lift up your hand today and just pray for your children, pray for your nieces, pray for your nephews, pray for young people. Pray that they will be delivered from the influences of principalities and powers and especially the rulers of the darkness of this world. Karabo Shadia. Some of them are even your spiritual sons and daughters, not even biological children. Pray that Father deliver them from the influences of principalities and powers and thrones and dominions deliver them deliver them deliver them deliver them somebody pray set them free in jesus name amen now let me make this announcement and then somebody should write it down and give it to me and i'll put it here so that i don't forget Anybody who has a daughter or a son who is 15 years old and above, in the night, I want you to bring them to the meeting. And if you are watching me online, in the night, I want them to sit by you and listen to me because I'm going to pray for them. 15 years and above. Somebody said, why, why not below 15? I don't know. The Lord told me 15 and above. But of course, if they are below and they want to listen, that's fine. But 15 and below, if they are below 15, you don't have to bring them to the church. But if you choose to bring them, Auntie Lizzie, Pierre, Eradin Shrao, Dana Pearl, Lizzie has appeared. Lizbeth Kwachi has appeared in the church. And, uh, when you see pastor see somebody has appeared it means he's happy the person has appeared so common sense means clap this one is common sense so it's not it's not spiritual it's not spiritual that is how you encourage the person to come tomorrow but also we will say obiaba neniaje osini panaba amomi kraba and san obetinasi kra i'm announcing to where the person is here then you are sitting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you enter, I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're not a guy. You're pending. But when a human being doesn't mean anything to us. Fountain Gate Chapel. What you are doing? I see a cracker. People is our focus. But Pastor Zia can tell you, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not you see, it's a slogan, it's a motto. But how the thing can be practical is a different matter altogether. It's a different matter altogether. So, principalities, arches, arches or arhi, depending on how you want to spell it. Powers, exousia, exousia, or exousias. Rulers of the darkness of this world. This one is a whole sentence. Rulers, cosmocrator, darkness, scotus. World, aeon. And yesterday I started talking about that. I will not go into the definitions. But I told you that the purpose and the aim of the rulers of the darkness of this world is to keep people in darkness. That, that is just all their work. Make sure people don't see the gospel. Make sure they don't see the gospel. So there's some, some part of the world, they call them the 1040 window. 
and in Ghana, the Upper East region is one of the few places that fall in the 1040 window. Those are regions that don't have exposure to the gospel. And we thank God for people like Gideon's translators of the Bible who are doing a lot of work in the villages and the, the, the yeah, in the villages and the small towns to try to get people to be committed to the things of the spirit. So the rulers of the darkness of this world, their assignment is to keep people in darkness. And they are real spirits. I remember in 1974, 74, I was going to secondary school. I passed and I was to go to secondary school. And then, and it's good my sister is here, Sita. Sita's father. Now you are learning how to clap. So learn it well. <laughs> so when you say, Mom, Mom, you say, Mama, can. <laughs> Anything I know, if I say, police will not arrest me, I'll say it. Now, so Sita's dad and my uncle took me to the village. And 74. My father got born again in 1980. No, 1994. He got born again in 1994. So this was 20 years before he was saved. And he was an adult worshiper. Serious one. So they took me there and they said I had passed secondary school. And I want to go to secondary school. He said he doesn't agree. They said, Why? I was 14 years old, so I could understand the reason my father gave. My father said, if I go to the second school, I will go and become a Christian, and I'll become a pastor, and I'll stop the idols. <laughs> 20 years before a man got born again, I'll go there, I'll become a Christian, I'll become a pastor. And I'll forget about the idols. How did he know that? Listen, powers are real. Powers are real. And the fear of death alone will prevent the people from getting born again. When I now went to the school and I got born again, and I went and told my father I was born again. I went to tell him in the village. And when I got home, he was not there. So I went to his farm. Where we are building the Giviat Elohim. I went to the farm. And he was farming. And then I sat under a baobab tree. And waited for him. And that baobab tree. We left that tree. On this property. Up till now, it is still there. Apostle Don, today you have to go there. Oh, close. Pastor Prince will make sure he takes you to the village. Where is the tree? So, he came finally sat under the tree with me. And he said, oh, what brought me home? I said, oh, you know. At that time, I had gone to, I, I was born again in 1980. And then I went to see my uncle in, um, that same uncle who took me to the village. He was in Koforidia at that time. So I went to him to Koforia. I, I went, I arrived, he received me well. In the night, I had this, my strange visitations I normally get. And this visitation was vivid, powerful, and strong. Strong encounter. The Lord took me in the spirit and started showing me my father's house, my village, where they are buried some people who had died what killed some of them, and so on and so forth. Showed me many things, and told me that the old man himself is going to die. I should go there. I'm still waiting for the tree. I don't forget like that. So look for the tree. I thought you were looking for the tree, then lazily you ran away. Go back. Find it for me. Okay, stay there. Stay there. So, the revelation was so vivid, and it said, go to him and minister Christ to him. The man is about to die. 
So I got up the following day. Now I got there today. The following day, I told my uncle, I'm leaving. He said, where am I going? I said, I'm going to the village. I'm going to talk to my father about Christ. That I'm born again. Now, people, this is a 20-year-old. I have now finished school. I got born again when I was 20 years. And then, I got born again at the age of what? 20, 21. Okay, so this is about a 21-year-old guy. Maximum 22. So I got up and I came to the village. When I came, he was doing some things on this farm. And he told me I should wait for him under the tree. So I waited. He came. And I told him, does he know he's going to die? He said, how? I said, you're going to die. You see, something in this, your family has been killing you. You see the way your brother died? This person died. died. I told him what he says. Then I said, anyway, I've given my life to Christ. And Jesus Christ, I had an encounter of Jesus. And he has told me to come and tell you, you are going to die. <laughs> my father started swearing. He looked at me and said, I'm going to die. Me, myself, he said, so, a banglale, where is your bangle? I said, I've thrown it away. He said, oh, Inankui, you will die. I said, no, Mbankui, I won't die, oh, you are going to die. He said, hey, I'm swearing at him. Then became a banter, serious argument. Then I got up and I went back to the home. I waited for him, came, and then... You know, my, my local name is Dok. Dok means a pot. Okay. So that's my local name, Doko. Dok. Anytime he was happy with me, he called me Mba. That means my father. When it's wild, Doko. <laughs> so I told him, I said, and they believe that my spirit was in a pot. Okay. So anytime he's worshiping the idols and he gets to the port, then that is where they mention my name. I told him the day you mention my name at this port, the port will break. In the night, we went to sleep. When we got up in the morning, the port had broken. The earth, everything has broken. And they are lying on the floor. I'm telling you a real story. I'm telling you a real story. He got up and started shouting. Who has broken this pot and the earth? I got out. He said, am I the one who broke it down? I said, no. Because he thought maybe out of zeal, I'm going to break down the idol. I said, no, I didn't touch it. He called my mother. This pot had broken. The water was scattered. There were maggots and, and roots in the thing. Because I remember any time I was sick at that time, he will fetch the water from there with the maggots. He will fetch the water, avoid the maggots, and give me to drink. Oh, Tinu Zuzu Yakuomo. Zuzu Yakuomo. Kabadi Zamba take a new Hale. Norgan and Kabad, Norgan and here. Not, and I could get sauce. Yeah. When I get the sauce, then they use the warm water. Me, I've seen things in life. So I told him, I said, I didn't break this thing down. He called my mother. He said, huh, I told you. This guy is not church. He has gone. This man has gone to chop juju, which is stronger than the one in this house. That's what he said. He said, I went, to, I went somewhere. Whether Dahomey or Togo or something. He said, this is not normal. How can an adult just break like this? You see fathers and they are swearing and, and then so it became some big argument and so on and so forth. But you see, I want to tell you that almost everybody who comes from some kind of houses, you are dedicated to something. And because of the thing you are dedicated to, there is some spiritual height you may not be able to attain. Blessed are those children who were not dedicated to things. 
So you realize that if you look at pastors who have got breakthrough ministry, many of them don't come from some parts of the country. And that is because they are not likely to be initiated to too many things. But those of us who come from places where we are initiated and we, we are handed over to idols and they put bangles and rings and beads and things on you and they cut your body and push in powders. Listen, even when you get born again, the Holy Ghost must work against gravity. No, 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 listen. There is something in you. There's something in you. Huh? Yeah. Being born again will become a challenge. Getting into a certain level of prosperity will become a challenge. Living long up to a certain age will become a challenge. Look, sometimes... That they will be talking about pastors. They will be talking about pastors. Something, something, Asari. Something, something, Bediaku. Something, something, um, Mensa. Something, something, um, Ajumai. Something, something, um, 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 Edebium. Um, 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 Amankwa. Something, something, Miriku. Once in a while, then an Anaba or Adongo or Atia will be added. It's very difficult to break through from a certain background. And enter that group. Very difficult. And they'll mention churches in Ghana. They'll mention, 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 mention. If they mention your church from Tamale or Wa or Boga, it means Nyami Abuao. It means Nyami Abuao. Because you see, we are dealing with, we are coming from a different background. And many of us are first generation. I remember when Osu Tabri broke through in the Bono Ahafo region. I said, Papa, I had Osu Tabri. Why are you Since Osu Tabri left, went to Accra, later on passed, how many times do you hear of a breakthrough ministry from Bono? I pray. I pray that God will help us. Now you are afraid to remove the tree. I finish. <laughs> and you know, in those days, I didn't even know that this tree, you know, the, the Baobab tree, the botanical name is Adansonia digitata. But I didn't know that its nickname was the tree of life. And I witnessed to my father first under the tree of life. It's called the tree of life. It's called the tree of life. Baobab tree. And, and it's very good for soup. Baobab tree is good for soup. Oh. Yesterday I ate some of the food, soup. Tokara zir. Yesterday I ate some of the Tokara soup. With, with, with guinea corn tea Kemolga. La Tokara zero. Mm. To dicking. Ke zang man pi e fi. Zang engba. Ka eng boluk fi. Ne em. Boom, number fee. <laughs> Robert, man, did you bam? Cause it's a ne man, pee, ne to cara, cabaza, and bajeric. By another name, Billy Bag, Billy Bag. But what's he? Bamia, indeed, Bagadamaka. I know whenever I'm speaking my thing, some of you are saying, what did he say? When Lester Samuel was speaking, what did we hear? <laughs> and even yesterday, Pastor wrote Parsley. <laughs> so, ah. Now, these things don't mean that some places are evil and some places are good. It's just what our fathers knew at that time. And the light they had. When my father got born again, he broke down the idols. I remember he, when, when he gave his life to Christ and he wanted to break down the idols and some pastors came and he, prayer warriors, he told them, break down the idols. They said, oh, 
I have traveled to London. When I come back, I'll come and break them down. He said, why? You, are you not pastors? Why are you afraid? Can't you break them down? And then my father, of course, was a soldier. He didn't fear anything. He told them, see these idols. I planted them. I'll break them down. I built all these idols. I'll break them down. So true, true, he broke down everything. He broke down everything. Okay. So, the rulers of the darkness of this world, they rule and they are responsible for keeping people in darkness. And they are the world rulers. They, they keep people in darkness. They are responsible for religious affairs. They are the ones that will plant you in a certain religion and tell you you would never leave this religion. This religion was handed over to you. To, it was handed over to your father's father's father's, to your father's father's, to your father's father, to your father, and it has come to you, and you must take it and give it to generations yet unborn, and nothing can change. So, just as the serpent Satan tempted Adam and Eve to fall. The prince of the power of the air works in the children of disobedience to rebel against God and bring his judgment upon themselves. Paul writing to the Ephesians said in Ephesians 2 verse 3 to 4 verse 1 to 4 Ephesians 2 1 to 4 and you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Everybody say quickened. Come on, say it again. Quickened. And you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. So you were dead in trespasses and sins. You were. But now you are no longer. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. And the world here is cosmos. So you walk according to the course of the cosmos. Something that ruled the world. So you see a certain region, and they say this is their religion. You see a certain place, and they say this is their religion. So when you go to Nigeria, they'll tell you that northern Nigeria is Muslim. Then when you come to Ghana, almost everybody who lives in the north, they believe you are a Muslim. Sonu Yojile, Hawuza Yojile. Then they add or a ceremony. Because they believe that everybody from the north, you are either a Muslim or you are for ancestral worship. They don't associate people from the north with Christianity, especially our kind of Christianity. Hira Baba, Hira Baba, Hira Baba, Hira Baba, that thing. No, it is in the south, they, they do the Hira Baba even without being born again. They stand in their church and everybody's Hira Baba, Hira Baba, Hira Baba, Hira Baba. And very soon, you don't even know the genuine one and the fake tongues. Obia Timikabi. So he said, you walked according to the course of the cosmos, according to the prince or the icon or the archi. You walked According to the Akers, the principality. That word prince there is the word principalities. According to the arches of the power of the air. So that is how you walked. And um the word power here is exousia. So you walked according to the prince of the power of the air. So there's something in the air that is controlling you. 
You are not controlling your own thoughts. Something in the air is manipulating you. It is a power that is over your head. And that power that is over your head is controlling the way you think. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And when I read, read that word children today, the word children here is the word huios. It's not a brephos, it's not a nepios, it's not a telios, but it is the huios. So now, the spirit that now works in the huios of disobedience. These are grown children. Who are capable of doing evil doing bad things executing the counsel of the of the of the devil these are ones that are grown enough to become prostitutes arm robbers become killers destroy become proselytes of the devil turn nations upside down do all kinds of evil and they are called children of children of disobedience children of unbelief and that's because there's a spirit that is manipulating them. Turning them into drug addicts. Turning them into all kinds of weird personalities that give everybody unrest. That give everybody unrest. There is a spirit that is oppressing them. The children of disobedience. Now, every, anybody who is a theologian knows that when you say children of disobedience, you are talking about unbelievers. But the Lord told me today, he said, Although this thing is unbelievers, I want you to extend the application of this scripture to individuals. They shouldn't be looking at children who are in the world. They should look at children in their own family. Some of us have got children who are manipulated by spirits to make our lives miserable. We've got all kinds of weird children. Children that frustrate your life nephews and nieces a woman came to me she told me she said all my children are good apart from the adopted one the adopted one is the one who is rather giving me all the trouble in this world and sometimes you wonder I thought the adopted one should rather be grateful. No, said the adopted one is full of bitterness and anger. She's the one giving me all the trouble. So children of disobedience. Verse number three. Among whom also we had a conversation in the time past, in the last of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath even as others verse 4 but God who is rich in mercy and thank God that this month is the month of mercy God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he has loved us verse 5 even when we were dead in sins has quickened us together with Christ by grace are you saved and he has raised us up together in Christ Jesus made us sit together in heavenly places so everybody say children of disobedience come on shout the children of disobedience now so there are people who are children of disobedience so when I say the children of Joshua it means they are his children it's very difficult to change the children of Joshua to the children of Pastor John Akotia, very difficult. Even when you adopt them, you cannot change the DNA. So when it talks about children of disobedience, one day Jesus was talking to his disciples, he said, I have chosen 12 of you, but there is one who is a son of perdition. That son of perdition cannot be changed. That is why I'm saying tonight, you must bring your children to church. And those of you who cannot bring them, we will stand here and pray that the prince of the power of the air must release our children. The spirit that is manipulating the, the children of disobedience must lose our children. One day,
Jesus, he said something. I, I'm not particularly sure whether it was a parable or a true thing or a true story he was telling. Luke chapter 15 from verse 11. Start from verse 10. Let's see something. Verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God, even when one sinner repenteth. And he said, a certain man had two sons. Now, he didn't introduce it as a parable, so it could be a true story. A certain man had two sons. 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 This morning, I was just there. This thing hit me. After the morning devotion, the thing just hit me. almost made me collapse. He said, the tale of the two sons was not just a parable. It is a pattern of occurrence throughout scripture. I said, Lord, what, what, what is two sons? What is two sons? He said, there's too much occurrence of two sons. In the Bible, for you not to note that there are two sons. Number one, Lucifer and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And the sons of God were meeting in heaven. And the Bible said, and Lucifer came also. So in a certain sense, Lucifer was also the Son of God. The tale of two sons. Abel and Cain, the tale of two sons. Jacob and Esau, the tale of two sons. Ephraim and Manasseh, the tale of two sons. Solomon and Adonijah, the tale of two sons. Moses and Aaron, the tale of two sons. So, so you see, most of the time, you see the sons occurring two, two, two. And when they occur two, one is good, the other one is bad. One is struggling, the other one has got the breakthrough. Two sons. Two sons. And when you come to your house, there may be ten children, there may be six children, but you can divide them in two. The good ones and the bad ones. Every one of you who looks at the children you have, you can see well that it looks like there's a principality that has taken hold of one of them. So if there are four, he may take hold of two or three and leave you with one good one. Or he may take hold of three and one alone. Cha, super Muguyaru. Every day you'll be receiving a report. Your son has gone to beat somebody up. Your son has gone to steal something. Ha! They caught your daughter with somebody's husband. Then the woman cries, Oh, this girl will kill me. Oh, this girl will kill me. So Jesus said, A certain man. Had two sons. And today I'm talking to a parent who has two sons. This son of yours or this daughter of yours, who principalities have taken hold of. You cannot deal with it by flesh and blood. You must deal with it by the spirit. Spirit. In fact, when the Lord hit me with this thing this morning, I realized that there were some of my nephews who were trying to frustrate me. And provoke me. Immediately I took a phone and called one of them. I called him and I calmed down completely. I calmed down completely. And I spoke to him and I said, hey son, how are you doing? He said, I'm doing well. I said, okay. Your brother did something I didn't particularly understand. Can you explain what your brother did? And then he tried to explain what the brother did. And I took my time and, and, and made him speak all. When he finished, then I told him, but you see, your brother didn't do well. Then I explained everything the brother did. He said, look, daddy, I'm prepared to put him in a car tomorrow mm. and just send him back. I said, no, don't do that. That one too is not good. Mm. And I took my time and spoke and spoke and spoke. Listen, when principalities take hold of your children and you two decide you are going to use flesh and blood to deal with the thing, you will lose your children. But the Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world. They call them 
the children of wrath and the children of disobedience. Don't deal with the thing in your flesh. I remember my mother, one of my sisters, who had, she, it's not, it's not her fault. Her father compromised her too early. So she didn't grow up like the rest of us. And so she became, let me call it, emotionally displaced. And she could argue and cause fight. So one day she and my mother were fighting. And my mother got angry and started shouting. Then all of a sudden, my mother couldn't talk again. I was in town when they brought my mother. They said, she can't talk. I took her to the hospital. I was sitting with her and the doctor. And I said, doc, my mother can't talk. He said, what happened? I said, she had an argument with one of her sisters. That's what I was told. And in the midst of all the argument, suddenly she couldn't talk. The doctor looked at me and said, but Reverend, I thought you were a pharmacist. I said, yes, sir. He said, your mother has a stroke. That was the end. The stroke, trying to treat and pray and treat and pray. Finally, that's what killed mom. I mean, she, that's all what killed her, but she died after many years of battling with the stroke. Then later on, there was all these forgetting um, things where she will forget everything. And when I go there, she'll tell me, oh, Mbi Maaga, that means my good son, the whole of today I've been eating. I say, Mata, old lady hasn't eaten. Vero say, Ma, daddy, Udia, she has eaten. She'll eat and forget she hasn't eaten. <laughs> mommy is laughing because mommy used to be there. Mommy was a very good friend. I have been eating the whole day. Meanwhile, she had just finished eating. But you know, that is because she couldn't manage those emotions. A certain man had two sons. Okay. God had the first Adam and the last Adam. The first Adam, the second Adam. Okay. First man, second man. Abel. Cain, Esau, Jacob, Manasseh, Ephraim. So when Jesus said, a certain man had two sons, he was not just looking at a number. He was talking about two sons. He was also talking about two kinds. That sometimes in the family, you have two kinds of children. You have Joseph, and then you have the rest. I'm not teaching anything. L listen. All your children, they are likely to be two kinds. And when you happen to have that mixed bag, you must treat them with discernment and wisdom. And prayer, you must go on your knees. And that's why today we are going to pray for our children. And we are going to pray for our nieces, our nephews, our spiritual children. And you are going to snatch them out of the hand of the prince of the power of the air. Stop blaming them, pounding on them, criticizing them, insulting them, swearing at them, cursing them. And get up and do something spiritual. Oh, today this nephew of mine, you see the way I was speaking to him. You think he's the senior brother and I'm the junior. I speak and I say, so I'm begging you. So please. So please. And that's because, you see, my younger sister is in their hand. That is their mother, but she's my younger sister. And if anything happens to her, I'll be concerned. So for the sake of my sister, I have to humble myself. Listen, sometimes I want to ask you a question. Eh? The fighting you are fighting and the argument you want to win. You will win the argument and lose people. So why are you trying to win arguments? Why, why are you trying to win an argument? And lose everybody. And at the end of the day, the only thing you gained is that you won an argument. 
But look at the people you lost in the midst of winning the argument. Look at the number of people you lost when the court finally said you are exonerated and you are right. So the court will rule and in the ruling it is ruled in your favor and you come out of the court wearing white white. I have won the case. I have won the case. I have won the case. But have you stopped, ever stopped to think about the number of people you have lost after winning the case? You have lost so many, many people in the process. A certain man had two sons. You are not likely to get one kind. You are likely to have two kinds. I was talking to a woman who had about five children. She told me I had five. But three or I think two died. That is another of the kind. Some may live, you will lose some. I'm saying me. Me. Two kinds. When people stay about in life and they are expecting all factors to remain equal, the same, you have four children, all of them are very good. None of them is troublesome. They say, oh, God has really blessed me. But people... It scarcely happens like that. You will have four daughters. Three of them are very good. They want to go to school. They want to study. They want to do this. There's this particular one. She dresses like a man. And the trousers, one is longer, one leg is longer than the other. And this is the way she walks. Mama, the mama, I'm home. Oh, she said, you will kill me. She said, no, mommy, I'm not killing you. I'm showing you the other side of life. Mommy, you will not die. This bad girl will kill you. This bad girl. You are there, she will drag a man and come. Mama, this is my new boyfriend. I'm bringing her home to show you. You see, mama, you have taught us not to keep secret. So, he's not a secret. Oh. She said, will kill me. She's not killing you. She's taking you through university. The university of spiritual warfare. Then you will learn that it's not by might and it's not by power, but by my spirit. A certain man had two sons. One of the sons became a child of disobedience and a child of wrath. Verse number 12. And the younger of them, the child of disobedience, the child of wrath, told his father, give me my portion of the goods that fall to me. I believe that this man was under the influence of the rulers of the darkness of this world. This young man is manipulated by spirits. And the spirit said, get up, pick up what is yours and walk out of this house. Break your father's heart. Say, give me my portion of the goods that fall to me. And he divided them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together, manipulated, inspired, controlled by the prince of the power of the air and by the rulers of the darkness of this world, gathered everything, took a journey into a far country, and there he wasted his substance in riotous living. And when he has spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him to his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare and are perished in hunger? Stay on that scripture. When he came to himself, and you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. So this child of disobedience, child of wrath, manipulated by the prince of the power of the air, in trespasses and sins. 
is quickened. He's quickened. Recovery has come to him. Suddenly, he recovered his mind. And I said to a certain parent, your child is about to recover their mind. I speak upon them to recover. Because they are children of wrath who are about to be destroyed. But they cannot accept that they are about to be destroyed except through the supernatural agency of the Holy Ghost. I pray wherever they are, may they recover. May they recover. May they come to themselves. May they recover. May they be quickened. I want everybody, lift up your voice now and begin to pray. Any young child, any boy, any girl, 15 years and above. Below 15, and a child who is bound under bondage pray for them to recover let the prince of the power of the air release them and if you know any young man any young woman anywhere who is under bondage and the prince of the power of the air has possessed them go to the altar and pray cry out to god sometimes they are even five years old sometimes as early as two years old the devil has taken hold of them if you are believing god for any young man any young woman to be freed from the power of the enemy go to the altar cry out to god oh be lifted about the other gods we and worship him say oh be lifted oh about the other gods we lay our crowns and worship him say Glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns. Hallelujah. Now pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray. The microphones that are praying are not enough. Choir, pray with your microphone. Choir, use your microphones and pray. Somebody online, pray. Stop cursing the children and pray. Stop cursing your grandchildren and pray. Something is manipulating them. Deliver them from the presence of the living and the power of 
bless O Lord Father influence at this anchors in the name of Jesus Adie 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 in your family. Amen. I said I come against the spirit of murder. Amen. Absalom killed his own brother. Call Amnon. I pray in the spirit of murder in your family. Where the spirit of rebellion has possessed one of them to the point where he's even trying to kill, we rebuke the spirit of rebellion and come against the spirit of murder. Somebody pray. Listen, listen. Don't take this for granted. Some of your children can hate their own brother and sister so much that if they get him, they'll kill him. Listen to the words of Esau. When our father dies, I'll kill Jacob. And they were brothers. Something in the air is manipulating the young man. Every spirit of manipulation will take authority over you this morning. We rebuke your power. We take dominion. Come on, somebody pray against the spirit of manipulation. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Sometimes it will not kill. It will divide the property. Take its part and go away. And waste it. Sometimes they will just destroy everything. Seminya and Obianya. Sometimes they kill parents. Out of anger, they can kill a parent. Can you pray? Listen, I have seen children who grew up and they blame their father on their mother for all the problems they've gone through in this world. They say, Mama, it's because of you I'm like this. You made me like this and I'll visit my anger on you. Somebody pray. They call them the children of wrath. In other words, God's anger is coming upon them. But the reason God's anger is coming upon them is that they also have got anger upon other people. Somebody pray. I will not stop you now. Pray for three, four minutes. Five. Don't 
to me and let me go but the question is what did the father do when the father, the son requested so sometimes there is parental irresponsibility we are not told that the father did anything to stop it. we are not told the father applied any particular wisdom or spiritual warfare to save the son And sometimes, apart from parental negligence and irresponsibility, there is also parental manipulation. Some of us manipulate some of our children against others. Look at Esau and Jacob. Isaac was part of the problem. From the time the children were in the womb, God said the younger one is going to have preeminence over the senior. You knew it. And you still told the senior one, go and make cake for me. Go and make food for me. The way my stomach lies. So your stomach is making you change God's judgment. And then Rebecca had it. And Rebecca too now entered the flesh. And said, you two come quickly. Prepare something for her. Dress him. Patch, 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 patch. And sent him into the presence of the father. So we are seeing parental manipulation. Ephraim and Manasseh. We see Joseph trying to manipulate the whole process. Every parent, pray for yourself. Against negligence and manipulation. Because sometimes, oh come. I told you, today, these troublesome children, Auntie Joe, I decided to call them. And when I called them, he himself said, oh, daddy, 
where you are at your level you call me I'm very sorry you just have no choice because when the thing breaks down it will land on your head somebody pray parental negligence parental manipulation some of you these children have got spirit of rebellion but oh what you do to them when they are going out they will even tell you because they know that if they tell you they are talking to a mad woman and go and come I know you are a prostitute. You are going to sleep with men. You are going to go, go. If you go, even if you get a cow, sleep with them and come back. This is the way a mother is talking to her own daughter. Parental irresponsibility, parental manipulation. Pray against the two and pray that Lord, I will not be guilty of either of this. Come on, pray. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Look at me. 
if the prodigal son could recover, your children can recover. Amen. Listen, even somewhere, both sons were in trouble. Eli, the two. The biggest pain the devil can ever give you is to use something you yourself produced to fight you. It's a pain. You can't pray that they should die. You cannot pray, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Because if they are scattered, you are scattered. <laughs> it's like a housefly sitting on your eyeball. <laughs> but today, God is a God of mercy. Amen. Lift up your hand. Pray for them to recover. And you has he quickened. You has he quickened. Jesus. Enti wakano. Ebebe mu. Eladi wakano. Ebebe mu. Eladi akase. Obe. Shira ye. You can start going back to your seat. Eti wakano, ebebe mo. Jesus wakano, ebebe mo. Eradi akas. Obe shira ye minyambie Obe shira ye amaya ye shira Enti wakano ebebe muo Eradi wakano ebebe muo Eradi akano Obe Shiraye Obe Shiraye Amaya Shira Wakano Ebebe Mana mama mama Sule Eradia Ebebe Mu Eradia kase Obe Shiraye Minyamye Obe Shiraye Amaya Shira Damasia Thank you Lord It's amazing that the prodigal son, the Bible said he came to himself. Somebody lift up your hand and pray, Father, let my son, my daughter, my nephew, my niece, my brother, my sister, let them come to themselves. When he came to himself, this one is not the son I produce. This one is not the daughter I produce. This one is not my nephew. This one is not my niece. This one is not my son spiritual. This one is not my son. My daughter spiritual. I pray father let them recover. Let them come to themselves. Pray. Oh Jesus. Makatala basua. I can't hear your prayer. Online pray.
Every covenant your children are in, every blood covenant they are in, we break the covenants today. Somebody pray. Listen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any parent here whose child has ever told you to kill him? We reverse the murder threat. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Your child will not commit that crime. Amen. We release that child from the spirit of rebellion and disobedience. Amen. Pray that the child be set free. I pray that your children shall be like quivers, like arrows in the quiver of a hunter, speaking to the enemy in the gate, but they themselves will not be your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and worship God. Jesus. Thank Him today. Lord, you deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. For you are worthy. Yes, your name be glorified. Your name alone be glorified. We bless you for the life of our parents. We bless you for the life of our children. Lord, we thank you for gifting us this word. Lord, we are forever grateful. We are forever grateful. We are forever grateful. We are grateful, are grateful to you for the many things. Ah, for us. We are forever grateful. Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Eraria casa obe shiraye obe shiraye amaya ye shiraye eraria casa 
Obe Shira Yero Obe Shira Yero Amaya Yeshira You may be seated. Wakano Ebebem Jesus Wakano Ebebemu Eradia Kaze Obe Shira Ye Minyamye Obe Shira Ye Amaya Ye Shira Oh come on clap your hands Tonight, I want you to bring your children. Any of them who is about 15 years, if they are with you in the house, bring them. I will lead us to pray. I will be finishing with the rulers of the darkness of this world tonight. And I want them to hear what I have to preach. And after that, I will pray for them. May the Lord deliver our children and the young ones from the power of the enemy. Somebody clap your hands and thank you. All right. Now I want us to receive our offering. Everybody come on. Prepare an offering that is befitting. Now, um, Pastor Admin and or better still, um, not Pastor Admin, Pastor Solo, Pastor Aaron, can you pick up some envelopes in your hand? I want somebody who is just saying, I want to sow a seed of a hundred into this ministry on the behalf of a child of mine. On the behalf of a child of mine. You know what, people? If you have ten children and you want to sow hundred, hundred, hundred for all the ten, go ahead and do it. That is the blessing of having ten children. If you have two, go ahead and do it. If you have one, go ahead and do it. Some of you can do more than that. Go ahead and do the more than, more than the one. So anybody who is going to sow that seed, listen, you are not buying prayer. You are just thanking God. You are just, if I was solo, I will be standing here instead of where I'm standing. All right, somebody get a pick up an envelope and do it. Some of you are doing it online. Take that seed of a hundred, sow it. We are just appreciating God. We are not buying prayer. If you can't do hundred, don't kill yourself. Don't push yourself. We are just saying, Lord, we thank you for such a timely word. Somebody get up, pick up an envelope. It could be 50, it could be 20, it could be 10. Just pick up an envelope and do it. Some of you are following us online. Go ahead and sow that seed. One day we were sowing a certain seed into Har Kadosh. Very big seed. A man told me, said, I have a wife and I have four children. All of us are sowing that same seed. And it was a big seed. They did it. Somebody, come on. Do this seed today. God bless your life. Go ahead.
Sunday or you made a pledge on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yesterday. Anybody who made any pledge and you are holding the seed on you, can you put it in the basket? Can you come put it in the basket and the Lord mightily bless your life? And whilst they are doing that, somebody lift up your hand and start praising God and thanking him. Give God glory and honor in the name of Jesus, eternal father. We want to bless your holy name. We give him all glory and honor in Jesus' name. Anybody who made a pledge, you made a commitment to God and you have it, just put it in the basket. Only you are my help. 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 Only
Praise the Lord. Anajui, I want you to take what we are going to do seriously. What some of our children are bringing into our houses, we have no idea. Some of these children are bringing strange blood into the house. They enter blood covenants and they bring blood to the house. I just bowed down my head and the Spirit of God told me that somebody is about to produce a very dangerous child. The person is about to give birth to a baby, but that baby is going to grow to become very dangerous. I'm talking about physically harmful. Because there's a spirit that are in the baby, even from the womb. And when the woman gives birth to the child, the woman will know. Because from the eyes of the child, you will see that this child is not very human. I pray. May God deliver us. May God deliver us. May God deliver our children. I would have said, if you are a parent and your child has ever said he will kill you, or she will kill you, you should get up and come and I'll pray for you. But I won't say it because we are in public and the social media. But when we close to the pulpit, when we close the meeting, come to this altar and pray. Remove the spirit of murder from your child and you shall live. I pray in the spirit of murder. May that spirit leave our children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Tonight we are coming back. I'm closing the service right now. Tomorrow, tonight, we are coming back. Today, I determined that I was going to leave this building before 12. And I guess it's not 12 yet. I think I'm a few minutes to 12 o'clock. That is if the clock in front of me is not deceiving me. I determined I was going to leave here before 12. So that in the night, we come back early. So we are coming back, and I want you to bring the children that are older than 12. We are going to make sure that the rulers of the darkness of this world leave our children alone. And those of you that will be, be following us online, make sure that you get them on TV. Make sure you get them on radio. Make, the, make sure that you get them somewhere and the Lord mightily bless you. This book is a must read and every one of you must have it and read it. It is called Four Kinds. God mightily bless you. Shall we receive the appointment for today? Somebody keep clapping, keep clapping. Put your hands together, celebrate the Lord and give us. Daddy, thank you so much for such a powerful word. So inspiration. Keep clapping, somebody. Do it better, do it better as our daddy go out. Amen. Please, let's be on our feet. We want to spend a few time to pray with our father. We are praying that the hand of God will continue to be strong over him. Let the Lord minister strength and grace upon him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Let the Lord strengthen him in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we are finishing on Friday, he will have done 15 times of preaching. But I just want to pray that the Lord will strengthen him. Let the hand of God be strong. 
and mighty over him like never before. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that your hand will mightily rest upon your son. Your servant, our father, O God, in the name of Jesus. That the oil for this assignment will not run off. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let grace be abound towards him. Quicken his mortal body. Refresh and energize him like never before. We pray also for our mommy in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord be good unto her. Every assignment entrusted to the account. We pray that there will be a supply. And there will be a major fulfillment of God's purpose and plan. Concerning their life. Thank you Lord. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Can I hear somebody shout an amen? amen. Put your hands together. And let's celebrate the Lord. What a word and what a meeting. God bless you mightily. Remember what our father said this evening. When you are coming, remember to bring your children and those of them that will not be able to come. Just call them and let them, let them join the service. And I believe that something major will happen to them to the glory of God. Amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever.